So let's have a look at this question that we've got in the middle of the screen here. We have 4 divided by 4 divided by 4 divided by 4. And a lot of students might be saying, hey, mister, this is like the easiest question I've ever seen. We can easily solve this question in a few seconds. So right now, let's pause this video and write a solution down into the comment section. Write your answer down into the comment section. You can also use your calculator. And of course, in a few seconds, we will see the correct answer. We will see a correct solution. Just trust me, this is a very tricky question and everyone make this common mistake. Okay, so you can also choose one option we have option a option b we have two option c and we have option option d we have a lot of options so right now you can easily choose a correct answers all right so a lot of students solve this question like that they say okay right here we have four divided by four equal to one and we have the same division on the right side we have four divided by four equal to one as well all right so in this with this division in the middle so we have one divided by one equal to one so a lot of students might be saying all right mister a correct answer is option a we have one and i go to the next question well i want to say one really important moment this option a is absolutely wrong so if you solve this question and you tell that correct answer is option a well you should review your basic math because you need to know a really interesting moment a really important thing in terms of math this of this thing is called order of operations and you know everyone know about uh, mathematical operations we are talking about basic mathematical operation as addition subtraction division and multiplication um, and multiplication yeah everyone know about this mathematical operation but what is the correct order to do this problem all right what is the correct order to perform this mathematical operation because right here in this question we solve this question absolutely randomly we divide right here we we jump from left to right we divide first of all right here the next we jump right here to the right side and in the end we divide it with this division in the middle so as you can see we solve this question absolutely randomly Randomly. And right now I'm going to show you a really important thing, which is called order of operations. So here is our next part of this question. This is order of operations, all right? And right here we have the thing which is called PEMDAS order of operation, yeah? Which is called PEMDAS order of operation, and it tells us what is the correct order to do mathematical operation. And there is the thing which is called bar mass, yeah? We also can write it as bar mass because people mostly in India and UK use this bar mass order of operation, but in the US, New Zealand, Australia, people use PMDMC. But to be honest, there's no difference between PEMDAS and between and between bar mass. Okay, so order of operation for brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction is absolutely the same for both order of operations. So let me just erase this real quick. And right now, let's look closely. Let's look closely at this PEMDAS order of operation. All right. So we are talking about priority. So it means that right here it is the highest priority, and on the right side is the lowest priority. All right. So uh, letter P stands for parentheses. All right. We are talking about parentheses. We are talking about these squiggly brackets. And also, we are talking about this type of brackets. And of course, it depends on what country you're in. So you can also use each type of these parentheses, each type of these brackets. So it's also really great. The next thing is exponents order. So in each of these cases, in PEMDAS, in BODMAS, we are talking about our powers. Yeah, we are talking about, for example, when we have when we have two square, we are talking about raising two to the power to the power two. This is our second step, which is called E exponents or orders. Absolutely the same thing in both order of operation. The next thing is letter M. It stands for multiplication. And the next thing is division. And a lot of students are confused, arguing with each other because they say, okay, we have M before D. So we are talking about multiplication first, then division. But this is not how it works. It works from all in a strict order from left to right. For example, we have four times two and divided by five. Well, we have two mathematical operations. We have multiplication, and we have, and we have division. And as I told before, we are talking about strict order from left, from left to right. And right now, we need to scan what is the first sign from left to right. Right here, we have multiplication. We have division. But the first sign from left to right is this multiplication. So we firstly we should multiply four times two. But when we considered it in another perspective, so when we look at it as four divided by five and times two or so something like that or times five doesn't matter we're talking about the same order from left to right and in this case a first sign from left to right is this 
division, all right? So we are talking about division first, okay? So whatever mathematical operation comes first from left to right, and of course when we have a mixture of multiplication of division, and multiplication and division, or division multiplication, doesn't matter, we should perform it from left to right, and doesn't matter, it can be like division first or multiplication first. So basically we are talking about groups, so multiplication and division, this is one common group, uh, multiplication and division are tied for priority or importance, so we are talking about multiplication and division, which has the same priority. All right, and let's look closely. We have addition option. Uh, we have A, this is our addition sign, and we have S, we have our subtraction sign. All right, so we are talking about addition and subtraction, which is our last part. We can also uh, consider it as a group. We can also consider it uh, as a group, and all, this is also really great really great part. Right now let's consider, let's solve a quick example. Yeah, just from, from my head, let's solve it, for example, let's change my pen real quick, so to blue, for example, and let's let's solve this example. If we have, for example, 4 plus, we have, for example, let's consider parentheses, we have 12 divided by 3, we have uh, to the second power, for example, and times two. A very quick example, just for better understanding this pen does. And uh, every time you have this numeric expression with uh, like complicated uh, things like parentheses, division, exponent, powers, yeah. So every time on the on the right side, write this pen does order of operation. Okay, we have P E M D a C. Okay, this is our order of operation. And right now, let's scan. What do we have in our question? Because we are talking about uh, order of operation from the top to the bottom. And right now, let's scan. We have P. P stands for parentheses, and we have on the right side this type of brackets. In our here, in our part, we have parentheses right here. So the first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. So let's do this right now. So what do we have right here? We have four. We have plus. Uh, 12 divided by 3 equal to 4, we raise this to the second power, don't forget about this, and times, times 2, all right? So this is our first step. Right now, let's scan what do we have next. The next thing, we have exponent, and obviously we have it. So we have exponent, we can easily solve this part, and exponent we have right here, all right? So we're talking about raising this 4 to the power, to the power 2, okay? So let's do this right now. So we have 4, we have plus, and right now we can actually get rid of these parentheses because we are talking about only four in inside it, and we can consider it as four square, all right? Times, times two, and the last thing we have we have four plus four square equal to sixteen, and times, times two, and right now really important step because we have only multiplication and and addition, and in our head we can easily cancel this. We can easily cancel division part. We don't have it. We can easily cancel subtraction part. We don't have it. We have only addition. Yeah, let me change this pen real quick. So we have addition, and we have multiplication. And what we, how what is the correct order to perform multiplication and addition? Okay, so a correct order is from left to right, or in our case, is from the top to the bottom. But for the for the high priority, because multiplication is about this uh, about this addition. So we are talking about multiplication first, and after multiplication we have this a, which is addition. So we are talking about multiplication first. We are talking about 4 plus 16 times 2 equal to 32. So we complete this uh, multiplication part, and we are talking about this addition part, which is very obvious, so the correct answer is is 36. So it was a quick solution according to at this PEMDAS, and right now let's move back to our question. Right now we hope you learn something about this PEMDAS, and let's go back to our question. Right now let me just erase these uh, things real quick, because we have a lot of a lot of things we don't need it. And right now I want to mention one really important moment. In the beginning I read that a correct answer is 1, a lot of students say that correct answer is 1. Well, a correct answer will be 1 when we have like parentheses here, right? So when we have parentheses, we should perform parentheses at first, then you should divide right here in this part, and then you should divide right here, so you can jump from left to right. So with parentheses, a correct answer is a, we have 1, but in our case we don't have parentheses, so right now let's erase this stuff real quick, and let's solve this question according to, to this PEMDAS order of operation. So let me just real quick erase this stuff, all of this stuff, and we have our, our question. So first of all, let's write uh, every time write this PEMDAS order of operation, so let's write it for example like that, so we have P, E, M, D, A, 
see here's our order and here's very like easy expression very easy expression because we don't have like parentheses exponent we have only division sign so let me just cancel real quick this parentheses part we don't have parentheses we don't have exponents we don't have multiplication part we don't have addition part we don't have subtraction part we have only d which stands for division all right but what is the correct order to perform this division we should perform this division in a strict order from left to right well we did the same thing before yeah we did the same thing before we divide four divided by four okay so right now let me just erase this real quick and right now we consider this a uh, division so first of all we're going to divide it from left to right the first sign from left to right we are talking about this division so let's divide 4 divided by 4 which is equal to which is equal to 1 but with one really important moment right now we don't want to jump from left to right we rewrite because we still have we still have this expression we still have this expression so let's just rewrite this expression so we have division by 4 and once more we have division by 4 and right now we should scan once more what is the first sign from left to right because the first sign from left to right is this division so we are talking about 1 divided by 4 which is equal to let's write it as 1 fourth and the last thing we have this division don't forget about this we have uh, we have this uh, division by we have this division by 4 let me just change it real pen real quick so we have this division by 4 so let's write it so division by by 4 and we're talking about division 1 fourth divided by 4 which is equal to 1 over over 16 all right and according to PEMDAS this is a correct a correct answer we have 1 over 16 but what about our option because right here we have option A obviously this is not the same option B we have 2 this is not the same option C it is 4 this is not the same but what about this option D 4 to the power minus 2 okay so we have 4 to the power minus 2 which is equal to let's just bring this a uh, second power minus uh, so minus 2 let's bring to our numerator so we have 1 over 4 square so we are talking about 1 over 16 so right here d this is 1 over 16 which is absolutely the same thing to our answer so this is absolutely the same thing and I, right now we hope you understand why a correct answer is is d because we are talking about a correct a correct order of operation in our case it was pemdas but we don't have a complicated expression we don't have expression with parentheses exponent we have a very basic very basic expression with only division okay so we are talking about from left to right and step by step this is our first division sign we can, we we did it we divided right here our second division sign and our third division sign and we go step by step so from the first sign to the second sign from the second to the third one and step by step in the previous solution we jumped from the first sign so we divide mm, let me just erase this so let me just erase this real quick so on the previous step we divide uh, first of all this uh, 4 divided by 4 and right here 4 divided by 4 so we jump from the first sign to the third sign and as you can see this is absolutely wrong so right now you can easily be proud of yourself you can easily uh, you can easily be happy because you solved this question absolutely absolutely correct and i hope you understand why 4 to the power minus 2 is a correct answer to our question so we have option d let's write our full answer to this question our answer this is option d is a correct answer to our to our question so thank you everyone for your time you can also write your question down into the comment section write your notes down to the comment section it will be really interesting to read about it you can also check your answer in a calculator but be careful because you know when you plug in the whole entire problem in a calculator sometimes happen that a calculator work with problem as you type it in so try to find a calculator where you can plug in the whole entire problem and you know happen sometimes that uh, you have a problem that has a mixture of multiplication and division so try to find a whole try to plug in the whole Entire problem so the whole entire problem plug in in a calculator and 100% you'll get a right answer don't plug in like the part uh, like left side right side and then division try to plug in the whole entire problem as like that so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your math adventures see you in the next videos